The magic of Thangles. Thangles is a product that allows you to make half square triangle units from exactly the same piece of fabric that you cut your plain units from. Normally you'd need an additional seam allowance here, so we're talking 3 8 or 7 8 But in this case, and I've made the whole of this quilt this way, I've used strips that are just two and a half inches wide. By placing the fabrics right sides together and using these papers, we can create the half square triangles from this magic rectangle. It's sew on the dotted line and cut on the solid line. The Thangle system works with sizes that are half inch up to six inches and they are labelled with the finished sizes always. So we're going to actually today in our workshop be using the two inch finished size which means the fabric is cut two and a half inches or the width of your papers. The scrap quilt here in front of me was actually made using this system and although there are over 800 units in the quilt, it was really fast to do because I managed to make them six at a time. Just by, again, sewing on the dotted line and cutting on the solid line. So the workshop today is going to be this little candle mat, which again uses the two inch finished units and I'm going to just now show you how simple and easy it is to make this. So here's the little candle mat we're going to do the workshop on. As you can see, it's in red and green, which is great Christmas colours. And I've made a start by doing three quarters of it ready. We're going to now work on this quarter. I've cut my plain squares from my two and a half inch piece of fabric. And then I've taken the rest of the fabric and layered it right sides together. This actually has a selvage edge on it, so when I put the paper on, I'm going to cover the selvage, which means that when I come to cut, I can trim that selvage off all in one go. Pin the papers carefully into place here. I'm going to then stitch on the dotted line, so I'm making sure that my pins are out of the way of the stitching lines. And then when I've placed up here, I can just get rid of the spare fabric. On the dotted lines here, as you can see, I've done the stitching on this one, and we're now going to safely take the pins out of the way. Pins and rotary cutters really don't mix. We're going to cut up the solid lines here. That's not good, sorry. And now what we're going to do is take the papers off. Pinch them here in the middle and just rip the paper off like that. And here we've got a perfect half square triangle unit which matches exactly my lovely plain square. So we'll do the same with all the others. Finger press or you can press on the, uh, the iron and I would lay these out now so that they look, they are in the right place and look just like their mate here. So we've got the green together here. And the green one here. And the trick is to have these green ones coming across the corner so that they make a nice angle here. And we've got another plain one for the corner. We've one missing. And here's the last one. It was hiding on my table. And here's the last one. So when I'm sure I've got them all in the right order, I can then sew this little unit together. So I would sew a squ the quarter together Add that onto this quarter, which gives us the half, and then the two halves together. Once I've done that, then we're going to add the borders. There's no real trick with the border. You've got your lovely quarter inch seam allowance. You're just going to put that on, but you'll see that they match here. But when you come down the other side, they won't overlap. So here's one I've done earlier. You can see it has a little bit of a gap and that's what you're expecting to have. So it's perfectly all right, don't worry about it, okay? And then we're going to go and get our ruler and do the 45 degree angle to give us that wonderful shape. 
So if we look at my sample from earlier, you'll see that we have a really interesting corner. Really easy to do because your ruler will do the work for you. So if I find my ruler, I'm going to work with the 45 degree on it. So here's my ruler and you've got 45 degrees in two directions. So if I line up one of these with my seam here, my ruler is automatically at 40 degrees to it, 45 degrees to it. So let me get my cutting board, pop it under here, just so that my rotary will move all this safely out of the way now. So my 45 degree is going to go the line is going to go down the line of the sewing here, where the border came onto the mat itself. The instructions actually tell you to cut right across that corner. I actually like to make a slight change to those instructions on the pattern. I like to give myself a quarter inch seam allowance. So if I just push my ruler up just a little bit, that quarter inch line, the first dotted line here, runs right through the corner of the sewing there and if I hold my ruler really firmly down you can see we've got a quarter inch seam allowance and this lovely 45 degree angle. So we can work our way around the quilt until we've got it looking like this and that's all there is to it.